hi everyone in this tutorial i will show you how to use loop construct in scala programming language so we will be looking at the usage of these three loop options so uh, syntax for while and do while are same as we are having in java or c programming language so in order to demonstrate uses of while and do while let's create a variable of integer type now uh, let's print 1 to 5 so in java or c how we used to write while loop while loop then the condition so here also we are going to write the same and then we will print the value of i in case of do while do body of do while loop and at the end while and condition so let's say here we are printing 5 to 1 so in while loop uh, this while loop is checking whether the value of i is less than or let's make it uh, equal to 5 and starting value 1 and after printing value of i we will increase the value of i so this loop will print 1 2 3 4 5 now just look at the do while loop in do while loop we are printing value of i so when this while loop execution will be over the value of i uh, is 6 so what we will do here we will print the value of i and then we will decrease it and in the condition part we have given that i value must be greater than 1 so let's see the execution part then it will be more clear to you compile your scala program uh, using uh, scala compiler hello dot scala and then run it so as you can see uh, while loop has printed 1 2 3 4 5 but do while has printed backward 6 5 4 3 2 so they are working also same their syntax is also same as we are having in c or java now the different loop is for loop so the syntax for for loop is different so in scala if you want to use for loop let's say we want to write a for loop from 1 to 10 we want to print a value from 1 to 10 with the help of for loop so for loop actually work on a block of a code and here if you want to iterate over 1 to 10 so you can directly write like uh, i 1 2 10 so what is the meaning of uh, let's remove it what is the meaning of uh, this code uh, this actually known as generator and what this generator will do this generator will create a well variable so uh, what this generator will do this generator will make a variable with the help of well it means uh, it cannot be changed like this one so for every iteration whenever this for loop will iterate so for the first iteration this generator will make a statement like this one so i value will be having one in the second iteration it will be like two in third iteration it will be like three so let's see whether it is it's working in this way or not so we are just printing the value of i compile and run it so if you can see uh, it has printed 1 to 10 so now no need to declare a variable no need to check the condition you can simply write 1 to 10 so this this one it will generate a range it will generate a range from 1 to 10 and this one it will generate the well so for every iteration a new well will be generated so this is the one way of using for loop 
uh, you can also use a different one instead of two you can write here until so this until also working in the same, same manner the difference between two and until is that uh, until will not include last value in the iteration so this loop will be running from one to nine whereas in two last value will be included so let's see the difference with the help of execution so if you can see the last value 10 is not included so you can use 2 you can use 10 thank you very much for watching